Hello everyone, welcome back to a new writing vlog. In this writing vlog I am beginning to write the sequel to Gods of Rot and Ruin, which is going to be my debut book, which is going to be published in like autumn 2023, so next year. And let me tell you a little secret, I have already begun writing it and I have written 5,000 words. I surpassed 5,000 words yesterday and today it's the 25th of May, so yesterday was the 24th and I hit 5,000 words. I have a goal with this manuscript to be at least 80,000 words. I have an inkling that it will be a little bit over that, maybe 90,000 words, which was the first book. So I have a feeling that this will be much longer than 80k, but that is my goal. So it's the 25th of May today when I'm starting this vlog and I have no thought on writing anything today because I am going to do a lot of other stuff and I just don't have time. And I haven't had any time in the morning because I did a cheesecake because my grandmother it's her birthday on Friday, but we are celebrating her tomorrow, the 26th. So I made her a cheesecake. But yeah, I made that, so I haven't had that much time to, you know, do anything else. Today, there's no writing to be done. I'm going to try to write a little bit tomorrow before we go to my grandmother's. And hopefully I can get maybe 500 to 1000 words done. It was a long time ago that I have written something with no like a deadline. I am going to take it in my own pace. I don't want to stress myself to write every single day, but I, I want to try to, like maybe at least get 100 words done. This is just going to be a stress-free kind of experience because I have so much time until the first book is published. I don't have to stress with the second book or the third book because if we think I'm going to publish one book in this series a year, then the first book is going to be 2023 and the book that I'm writing now is going to be published 2024 and then 2025. And that's three years away. So I don't have, or the second book is two years away, but I don't have to stress about it. So I want to take it in my own time and I want to like really sit down and work. And that's why both sessions now or yesterday and the day before that, I have watched Abby Emmons live streams because I have not been able to watch those like from NaNoWriMo last year. So I watched those and I have been able to write a lot during those writing live streams. That's what I did as well when I was writing Ghost of to Ruin last year. I watched a lot of writing live streams because they really motivated me to sit down and write and write a lot. And also if you want to watch last year's vlogs on writing Ghost of to Ruin, I can link the playlist in one of these corners and also in the description below. As of now, I have written and like I said, 5,000 words. I have written two chapters and for this new book I am writing from two different POVs, so two perspectives, two different characters. One of those characters is a character that is a side character in book one that is very important for the, the protagonist in book one and she is going to be the protagonist in book two. And because I'm writing a fantasy romance I also want to have the love interest POV and I want to have his story as well in here. So he is the second POV and he has the first chapter actually in this one and I just wrote the first chapter from my female point of view. And they have already met each other, they met each other in the first chapter and I don't know, I, I'm very unsure right now of if I should have the first chapter be it the way it is or if I should have something else at the first chapter. Because now everything has already begun happening, like already the first chapter and I know this is the way you should probably do it, like throw the reader into the action right at once. But like having them meet in the first chapter, I don't know if that's too much. <laughs> they don't have a good encounter in the first chapter, so like their romantic arc doesn't begin in the first chapter. It begins way later on, but I don't know if it's too early. So two chapters written, the next chapter, chapter three, is going to be from the male POV again. The order is going to be one chapter from this character and then one chapter from that character and it goes back and forth like that. It will hopefully not be like that because I feel like if I do it like that it's way too structured. It's just the first chapters that are going to be like that. In the next chapter we're going to dig deeper into my male character's kind of his struggles and his fears. A new character is going to be introduced already in the third chapter that is a very important character to him which I'm very excited about. And then already I believe in the like fifth chapter sixth chapter maybe the characters are going to meet again but i won't spoil like what is happening i just i just want to talk about it so that's the plans that i have hopefully going to write more tomorrow and then friday i will update you as much as i can during the way and talk about this new project and i must say that there is not really that much i can talk about other than 
because my fantasy is like a portal fantasy world with different interconnected you know worlds we are going to see a different world in this one a different race from the first one in the first one we got to meet like the humans and the gods and in this book we're going to meet the elves and their world why that is i can't talk about this is the thing with sequels i don't know how much i'm going to talk about in this vlog and i don't know how much i'm going to write in the book because i feel like in the first two chapters because why they are so long is because i kind of info dumped a lot and trying to like smoothly put in what has happened in the first book so that if you come in with fresh eyes and have read the first book you're going to be able to read this book and already understand what has happened and why it matters to my characters but like there are a lot of characters from the first book that my female character for example that she thinks about a lot and talks about a lot and if you haven't read the first book you're not gonna like remember or know these characters so I feel like I need to info dump a little bit, but at the same time, I will probably have to delete some of this later on. But it's great for me to just trying to find my footing in this new world and new book and new characters and writing a sequel for the first time. I've never done that before. If you have written a sequel before, please comment your tips below. But okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and I hope that you will enjoy this writing vlog. Hello, welcome to another update. It's the... 27th of May and I have felt a little bit tired today so I haven't done anything except for writing. So I managed to write a little bit yesterday. I think I managed to write 1000 words so I did two 25 minute sprints with Abby Emmons, uh, one of her live stream videos and I did like two of those live stream videos today so I have written for maybe two hours. No actually one and a half times of live stream but I have written more than the live stream and Today, the 27th of May, the time is 1626, I am at... Oh, holy shit, wait a minute. <laughs> so, what I was about to say was that I have surpassed 10k in my manuscript. And what I was so shocked about is that I have almost written 4,000 words today. I have written 3,915 words. That is mind-blowing. I just wanted to document this and say that I was tired, but this is the only thing that I have done today. Like, I woke up, I talked to, like, my family for a long while, like, on FaceTime. Then I have just been writing up until now. So now I'm gonna take a break because I feel a little bit, like, dizzy. And I needed to eat something and drink some water because I feel like I don't feel the best <laughs> right now. And as you can see, I look a bit like I feel. But I'm very happy about it. I have written five whole chapters and that's 10k. And what I'm feeling is a little bit like... Mm, is that the inciting incident that I have planned isn't until chapter 12. That's a like big inciting incident. But I feel like the thing that's happening now could be the first inciting incident. Or not really the first, but the first for one of my characters. And the thing that kickstarts my whole book. Uh, that puts the characters outside of their comfort zone. At least for one character. So I feel like this could act as a, a first small inciting incident and then the big reveal or happening is later on with the later inciting incident so on chapter six this is happening in chapter six and seven this small inciting incident i'm very excited about that i i don't think i have been writing anything recently that has been this easy because the horror novella that i did i have a few vlogs up on those as well i can link one of them in this corner one of these corners and also in the description that was so difficult and i needed to really drag the words out of me because i felt so insecure about my own writing and the story and i felt like this is something that people have already read before and that didn't feel great i'm just very happy about this being the easy <laughs> part and then we have to see with act two and three what happens then but as of now it's feeling good. And the thing that I just wrote, chapter 5, was from the male POV and that ended up being only 1400. But anyway, I just wanted to update you about that and I'm very happy about today's work and I will hopefully be able to write some more during the weekend. But I will update you when I have maybe surpassed 15k or hit the inciting incident maybe. I don't know. But I'm very, very excited about what's coming for my characters.
up there <laughs> sits the little owl um i'm on a walk in the forest area where i live and we have a tradition or i my family and i have a tradition of when we go here we always look for that or to that tree and we always see if the owl's there and then for the last couple of times maybe three times in a row it has been there when i have been here and this is the place like this is where i i go if i'm going on a walk outside i go here so welcome to our little or my little sanctuary and welcome to the tree that inspired my whole book uh, gods of rotten ruin my book is based or the magic system in my book is based on a portal system um that is connected to the god tree by some people called the world tree and it's inspired by this tree and norse mythology really yggdrasil uh, the tree that binds all the different worlds you know midgord alfheim if you have watched maybe thor the Marvel uh, adaptation of, you know, the old mythology of Thor, the God of Thunder. I was inspired by Norse mythology when making that book. And the people and the names are very much inspired by Scandinavia, Norse inspired. That was re not really what I wanted to talk about. I just thought since we're here, I could just talk a little bit about that. I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this, but I like walking outside when it's raining. It's raining right now, I'm wearing a rain jacket, raincoat, and it's not really raining right now, currently, but it, it has been raining and it's really early in the morning. I think it's nine o'clock in the morning. This is my prime time and I, I love being outside in this type of weather and this time. Just look at this. It's so beautiful. And on the other side here, there's cows currently in this clip. You might get to know a side of me that you might not have seen before. I just feel really calm out here. Anyway, what I was supposed to talk about is how the riding is going. So I haven't updated you home and I will probably not do that today either. The riding has been going really well and I am glad to say that I'm on 15k already. And since the goal is 80k of, you know, the first draft, 5,000 words more and I will be at one fourth of the way through the book there's the cows i probably look like a lunatic when i'm out here talking to my phone the cows probably think i'm a lunatic but the chapter that i'm on now is chapter 10 and chapter 12 is the inciting incident the thing is when i write this fast i have this feeling that the book is going too fast like, I'm getting to the plot beats way too early. I feel like it's weird that my characters start liking each other at, you know, the 10th chapter or start, you know, warming up to each other. But it's not really that weird because if I would have written less in a day, like maybe 1000 in, in a day, that would mean that I wouldn't get through even one chapter. And that would, of course, make you feel like the book is going slower and I would have felt that it's okay for my characters to start liking each other. But since I write so damn quickly now, I feel like the book is going way too fast. I just need to accept that if I write 4,000 words a day, I need to accept that automatically it will feel like I'm going through the story way too quickly. We're just now getting up to the inciting incident and even though my, my main, two main characters are kind of settling into their new position that happened in like the first couple of chapters in the book, they are about to uh, get their asses kicked. <laughs> Not really, but they're about to be put in a really difficult situation and that makes, you know, the whole ball rolling again. But I don't really have that much of an update. I need to say that today I will probably just read Heartstopper Volume 3, play Stardew Valley and maybe, yeah, I, I will write. But I'm not too sure of how much I will be able to write. If I don't end up writing 4,000 words, I will not get to the exciting incident uh, until maybe tomorrow but today i don't have that much to do i'm a little bit tired you know up here <laughs> from yesterday so i will just take it easy and then tomorrow i have some things that i need to do so i will not be home but hopefully i will be able to write something you know little at least
So that's something that I have for now. I will go home and I will do a workout because if I sit down and ride for four hours, that means I need to get up and do a workout as well. So I will be doing a workout today and then just having a cozy day. Last day of May and I can't believe I'm already 15k into the new draft. Hello, welcome back to a quick update. Today is the 2nd of June and I surpassed 20k today. I have written 1579 words today and I am at 20,047 words and I don't think I'm a fourth of the way done with the book. I'm at chapter 13 now and now we're getting into like the juicy. There's a lot of things happening, a lot with the murder mystery which has just begun and a lot of other mysteries surrounding the love interest, the male lead of my book. You know, their romance is just beginning. I have been getting some anxiety about this story, especially yesterday, because yesterday I wrote... Did I write like 2000 words or did I not write anything? I can't remember. But I got some anxiety yesterday because I thought about my story and I thought that I may have too much in my story. I may have too many subplots. I may have complicated things with having two POVs and simultaneously doing their both both of their character arcs in this story, as well as having an antagonistic force, you know, an outside force with the murder mystery that they're going to solve. I don't know if this is too much. I am comparing myself a lot to, or this story a lot to Crescent City, and I know it can be done because Sergei Mas did in Crescent City. She was able to at least have the character arc of Bryce, which is the female main character. I feel like she did that really well. She had two main characters, kind of, and she had both of their character arcs separately, as well as a mystery that is going to be solved, and they're working together to solve that mystery. And that mystery is something else, an antagonistic force that is not just about the character's internal conflict and that internal struggle that sometimes might be, you know, the main focus in a contemporary romance, for example, because oftentimes a contemporary romance doesn't have that antagonistic force of a, you know, villain or a bad guy or the world's ending or something like that. I think that it's going to be great, this book, after I have finished it and done some, maybe a lot of edits. I don't know how much this book will need to be edited, but I think it will be great. But just now at the beginning of the story, I feel kind of like I have too many things up in the air that I just, I need to bring down. I need to connect with everything. But like, when I get those anxiety waves, I don't think about my story logically, because when I think about my story logically, like when I go through all the chapters, I did that before I sat down to write today. I went through the whole book as of it is right now, and every scene and every chapter that I have in here is important to my characters, either the male character or the female male character, or both of them. Uh, in different ways. So everything that I have in here right now, I think, except one chapter that I'm very unsure about that I need to ask my beta reader about, everything that I have in here is important to the story, but I feel like it may be too much to have in the beginning of the story. If I look at murder mysteries, then having a murder really early on in the story is a part of it. You need to have that murder mystery to actually begin the book. But then, since this is a fantasy romance as well, with a murder mystery aspect of it, I feel like there may be too much happening in the beginning. I am building up this new world, I'm building up new, two new characters, a magic system, kind of, at the same time that I'm doing this mystery. Maybe this will all turn out really well, or I need to, like, push up the murder mystery and have that in the second act instead of the first act. I feel like when I read books that are this fast-paced and there is stuff happening all the time that is very important to the main characters and you can see how it affects them like on page. I feel like those books are what I tend to gravitate towards because, you know, they're fast paced. You want to turn the page over and over again. Maybe this will be a, like page turner, those kinds of books where people can stop reading because there's stuff happening all the time and they want to know what happens next. Or there's too much and they can't understand anything. There's a fine balance between them. And I know there's like this tip of just throwing the reader in there, especially when you write like short fiction. You're not supposed to have this build up to the conflict. You are supposed to be put in the conflict right at the beginning of the story. And it's not the same with a, a novel 
like a full length novel but I still hear this tip a lot where you should maybe just begin with the inciting incident begin with throwing the characters outside of the comfort zone and begin with that turning point in the story so I don't know this every project I feel like is this new experience of course because there's a new project but a new experience when it comes to writing and understanding the art and the science of writing and how you can craft a good story it is different for every project and I feel like I learn something new every time. So I still feel like this is the right thing to do. So I'm going to keep writing and, and I'm going to not change anything in the previous chapters or change anything in my outline. I feel like it's great, but I'm so unsure now. And I don't know if this is going to be the case with every sequel that I write, if I'm going to be this unsure about a book. Because I'm already getting published with the first book, so I want to get this right. And if I'm sitting here and writing a book, following an outline that doesn't work, then I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> I'm a bit stressed. Anyway, sorry for this rambling update. I am on chapter 13 and I have a big event coming up where my two main characters, they kind of don't like each other, but they have to, in the next chapter, fight to keep each other alive. So that's fun. <laughs> if you don't know, there's a trope in my book as well, where I don't know what it's called, but it's like when the two characters doesn't really want to marry each other, but has to marry each other because it is kind of like important and it will keep maybe both of them alive and it is important because of political reasons and they both get something out of it. I don't know what that trope is called. Anyway, I have that in my book and that will be coming up soon in the first act. That's why I'm saying there's so much things happening in the first act, but like there's so much things happening in the second act as well. So I don't know, maybe I should have the wedding in the second act. Should I? I probably should have it in Act 1 because in the beginning of Act 2 there's a lot of mystery building aspect as well as the romance aspect. So the thing is when my beta reader reads this book she might not be able to tell like when the first act ends and the second one begins. Of course the midpoint is kind of clear oftentimes when you read a book. The acts are only for me to get the overview like flow of the story with the story arc. The chapters that I have now, each of them hits the right story beat in the story arc. So it's all been great, but I'm still anxious about it. So with that said, I'll see you in the next clip. Hello everyone, welcome back to a very um, not structured ending of this vlog. I have just gotten out of my new job. I'm going home for the day. It's 13 something o'clock. Uh, it was my first day today. So not very long, but I had a lot to do and it was so fun. This must be the most fun thing I have ever done in my whole life. It was so fun. And it is very structured and me being a big planner and having things structured that was so fun scanning the books when people were handing them in and then uh, handing them books and you know everything like that so i'm a little bit tired and i'm sorry for all the noise but i am at my grandparents for the summer because i'm working here at a very big library actually in their community so i'm very very pleased very excited about this so this is just going to be the end vlog of the uh, end clip of the new writing vlog for the sequel i have written maybe 24,000 23,000 24,000 words into the manuscript i'm at chapter 16 i think and it's the wedding part of my book and we're coming up to the end of act one let's just say that so i'm going to begin a second vlog but i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to talk i'm gonna try my best and yes i'm holding a banana thank you guys so much for watching this video leave a like and a comment below and let me know what you want to see you know what topics you want me to discuss in the upcoming writing vlogs of my the sequel like I want to discuss how it is writing a sequel of a series, like the second book in a series, but my experience is not going to be like everybody else's because I have a series of standalones. So the sequel will not be that connected to the first one. 
but I will try my best and discuss all these topics. But let me know in the comments if you have any specific ones. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And actually subscribe because I publish a new video every week, every Thursday. Click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything. But with that said, bye guys.